Cool. Uh, uh, the other question I'll uh, end with, I guess, is uh, can you uh, tell a little bit about uh, anything you took away from recording Black Star with David Bowie in a similar vein to Paul Motion? Um, well, I'll say that it was a completely enjoyable experience. Like it was, like aside from just like the thrill of recording with David Bowie, which has been a fan since I was like 11 years old. Um, he, he, he and, and Tony Visconti just provided a really supportive, really great environment for us all to, to create. Um, and he, you know, the, lane, the reins were, were very loose whatever we wanted to, you know, if we had ideas, we wanted to, we wanted to experiment. But then um, I went in one day and just kind of recorded guitar parts on all the tunes. Like I was only there for a third of the session, like it was done over three weeks and I, I just came in for the last week. So a lot of stuff was done already. And there was one day where, I, you know, it was just like, you, should, you just come in and just play, just come up with parts over all these different tunes. So it's just like just like improvising over, you know, and, and some stuff was kept, a lot of stuff wasn't kept, but it was just uh, it was all in the spirit of experimentation. It's all supported. Um, <clears throat> and I, I liked how, even though we had a very specific vision for the record, um, he trusted us to not uh, enough to not micromanage at all mm -hmm. so yeah, it was it was great it was, it was a great week i mean it was literally one week of my life it's mm -hmm. just that. so but, but it was a good one awesome cool